it's about to be a hot girl summer welcome to another youtube vlog with your girl nelly and in this week's vlog we're touring zanzibar with my beautiful girls as you can see hot views lit views lit everything it's about to be a lituation oh my god views for days you know it's about to go down or for real for real so stay tuned guys lots of love So guys, we just got here, we arrived at the ferry terminal and we're now about to go run a couple errands in town because we need a couple of things. Then we might grab some lunch and then we're gonna go to Prison Island. So yeah, this is my team of beauty. Look at Kat smiling. <laughs> we have Hilda and then Atu and then Maureen at the far front. Yeah, don't be late. Few moments later. Off to Prison Island, we're just waiting for a boat to come and then we're going to see some turtles and chill at a sandbank or a beach. We just got on our boat and we're now heading to Prison Island. This is Zanzibar from view. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. This is our boat. So I'll keep you guys updated. Turtles, and then we're gonna have a little beach day. Just got off our boat, and we're gonna take you, and then we're gonna get a change. So. You know what it is? You know the vibes already. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Check out these slay queens doing their slay shit. Yep. So guys, this is Prison Island. Cool. So they actually have a private pool inside, which I wasn't expecting. So we have two options. We can swim at the beach, or we can swim here. But first, let's go get checked in, pay our ticket, change, see those little turtles, and then get down to real business. Because we all know we didn't come here to see turtles. So we're heading to get changed. Grab my girl. I'm like the only one in my group wearing a mask. Like, shame on these people. Shame on them. Shame on Shit, you. <laughs> like, I'm taking Rona for real, for real. Okay, guys, I run into some cute little friends. Comment down below what these are. Hey guys, so we just got the turtle area. We just gave our ticket and we're about to go see the turtles now. Sorry the lighting is a little trashy, but yeah. So this is a place for a couple of other people, but let's go look for some turtles so they can say hi. What's your name? His name is Bob. So this is Bob. He greeted us when we entered. And then we have for the calling Marcus. Then we have Pito. Hilda's feeding Pito. He likes his he likes his lunch, Hilda. <laughs> <laughs> then we have then we have Martha. Let's go meet Martha. Let's go meet the rest of the family. Park, the 
They have their pond there. I feel like a lot of turtles. Yeah, some of them are sleeping. See those ones are sleeping. They're enjoying lunch. So, we have more turtles. I thought I lost you. Let's go check out some baby turtles. I'm guessing this is a mommy. They're calling each other. Oh, oh. oh, so the baby turtles are locked up. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're like baby turtles. Let me try and get a lens in there. There you go. How cute. I remember when I went to primary school at Braeburn in Arusha, we used to have a little like turtle thing. We had like a little turtle sanctuary. I remember that. Comment down below anyone else who went to Braeburn who remembers that. They were usually the small. <laughs> now we're gonna head out to the beach and just chill by the sand play with the crystal blue water and just enjoy the rest of our afternoon yay So we're heading back to Stone Town from Prison Island. It's hella windy, the waves are crazy. Everyone's kinda scared and freaking out. But I know we're gonna be safe, as always. God's got us. So. Okay guys, so we got to Stone Town and we're trying to kill time before we go to Farzani. For them, it's like a banquet with like foods and stuff. So we decided to kill time at this restaurant. It's called Mercury's Bar in Zanzibar. It's right next to the ferries and the boat. So we're just gonna kill time. We got a couple of drinks and food. And it's really beautiful inside. This one I got Fordani. We're gonna try like seafood. So Fordani is basically like a food banquet where they have all these street foods and seafoods, like hundreds and hundreds of vendors go there every evening. It starts at 5 p.m. around 5 p.m. and you have different vendors like basically making different like street foods and seafood and everything. finished having our snack. We're now heading to Forazani. As you can see, there's like a huge crowd. That's basically where it is. Farzani, are you gonna say hi? Hi. <laughs> so you see, we basically have all these different vendors and all these people. I don't know what they're looking at. I think there's some beach boys, there's some beach boys doing backflips into the ocean. Let's see if we can get a clip of one of them. Ooh, the food 
looks yummy. Guys, let me just take the onions for Tamanisha because this food looks oof. I don't think no five star restaurant ain't got nothing no for a dime. Like, wow. <laughs> we got some shawarma, okay, some fries, that's basic, but mm, some roast over there. We got some potato and some Swahili food. That chapati looks mm, A1. So much seafood, so much seafood. Ooh, child. Oh my God, I see shrimp. Ooh, ooh, yes. Oh my God, yes. Woohoo, tamat, tamat. Some my guys, you cannot not go to Zanzibar and not check out for a dani. Like you just cannot. It's too good to miss. Ooh, guys, so we got some food. We have some prawns, some calamari, some shark, some octopus, and some squid and fries. So we're done with dinner and we're now heading to Nungui to the hotel we're gonna be staying in and just check out the views. We're staying at Mina's hotel. It's like an hour away, so stay tuned guys. Okay guys, we just arrived at the place. It's like almost nine right now, 8.30 something. So this is the hotel, you can't see it properly. So it's pretty dark, but hopefully tomorrow I could get a couple of good shots. So we're just unloading from the car. We're gonna go check in. I think I'm gonna settle in for a while, then my friend and I might come chill by the pool. And uh, yeah, tomorrow is a whole other adventure. Okay guys, so we just got into our room. It's pretty nice. Um, you have a bed here, very cute. And then you have a whole African thing going on. They give you a little closet. Then we have like a terrace. So this whole thing, this whole thing is like a terrace. And we're downstairs, so I can literally see the floor. It's kind of dark, so you won't see everything well, but yeah, this is a place. So anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna log out and you can catch me tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all well. So today is day two of our trip in Zanzibar. We woke up at the hotel, Mina's hotel. I'm gonna show you the place because yesterday I couldn't really show you the place properly because it was pretty dark, but I'm sure you can see a little in the background. I just showered, I got ready, and I'm all good to go. Um, I'm gonna insert like a short video clip of my outfit. So I really look forward to today. We're planning to go to Namba Island. We're gonna go snorkeling, we're gonna go see some dolphins, and then just chill out in one of the sunbags. So we're gonna go like 9 a.m. and hopefully we should be back by 4. Because we wanted to hang out by the pool at the hotel and then maybe go for some drinks and dinner later at Cholo's Bar. I heard it's like a cute little beach bar, so that's basically our schedule for today. And I'll just show you guys around, so hang with me. So this is the hotel. I couldn't show you guys properly like last night. But yeah, basically that's the pool area. So they have a cute pool. It's pretty cute, it's kind of small, but it's very cute. At night, like the lights go on, so they have lights. If you want to swim at night, they let you do that. Then like way over there, if you can see, is like the restaurant bar slash reception, which is where we're going to have our breakfast. So the other awesome thing about this place is it's a bed and breakfast. So, you know, for those of you who don't know, Nubi is pretty expensive. This is where all the tourists come. Like, there are locals here, but most of the locals here are like doing tourism or business or like, you know, people who just are trying to support the tourism industry here in Zanzibar. So Nubi is super expensive. So this place is a pretty good deal. Um, I think we paid around $55 for a double room for two days. So for one night, it's like $55. So if you sleep with a friend, you can split the cost, which you'd pay half. But since we stayed for two days, it's basically the same $55 and you get bed and breakfast. So yeah, I'm outside at the terrace right now. I'm about to head out to my room. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys because it's kind of messy. Hey guys, so we just left the hotel. We, we just got into the car and we're now heading to, is it Nemba Island? And that's where we're gonna do a little yeah, snorkeling yeah. adventure. Hopefully we can find dolphins. Hey. 
don't forget to click the subscribe button turn your post notifications on to get notified every time Nelly uploads a video peace me and the ladies let me make a for Nona So we just got here, um, we just got to the parking place. This is where we're gonna get a boat to go to Namba Island. And it looks so beautiful. So we're almost there. As you can see, that beautiful island. Apparently, Mnemba Island is Bill Gates' private island. This is where he proposed to Melinda Gates. So, mm hmm. I know that's right. Rich boy sings. So we're about to get off the boat and do some snorkeling. Unfortunately, I can't film because if I, even though my phone is waterproof, if you put it in the water because it's salt water, it's gonna mess up my phone. So. So while we were chilling at the sandbank, it started to rain really heavily, got kind of scary. So we got on the boat and we were kind of chilling there for a while until the rain cooled off. And now the waves have kind of cooled down. So we're trying to sail back to shore. Everyone's kind of scared, but I know we're going to make it safely. Hey guys, so we're back. Um, we got back to the island. The islanders started off the farm and we had our lunch here. There's like a small shack. I'm gonna show you guys in a few minutes. We had a wonderful lunch. So they basically gave you like a platter plate or like salad and fries and rice and you just choose everything for yourself. I wasn't able to share with you guys a lunch because we were hungry. Yeah, I need to eat you kimbele. <laughs> okay, but I'll see if I can find something and put it in this video. As you can see, this beautiful seafood platter with like different sorts of fish, prawns, shrimp, octopus, shark, yum. But yeah, we're really full now and we're just chilling for a bit and then we're gonna head back to Tunungui. So we're now leaving the place. We're heading back to Nungui, back to the hotel, and then we'll figure out our day from there. But yeah, I'll catch you guys there. I wish it could stay with me another day. Beach bar here in Nungui. They have a cute little fire pit. 
Here's the bar. We were hoping there'd be more tourists around, but there was really no one at the beach, but it was still a great time. We had a lot of girl chat, and I think we all got to bond, so that's the most important thing. Good morning, guys. So today's the last day of our trip in Zanzibar. We woke up pretty late. It's now about 12, 12 p.m. midday. Um, we're waiting for our cab. I think it's gonna arrive around one, and then we're gonna head back to Stone Town, maybe grab some lunch, and then get on the 4 p.m. ferry and head back to Dar. So this has been an incredible trip. Mina has been so great. As you can see, the beauty in the background, it's been incredible, a great experience. But now we have to get back to work tomorrow. So yeah, but it's definitely been a great escape, great fun. I'm glad we were able to do a couple of activities and have a nice relaxing trip. The hotel didn't have a lot of people. The hotel literally has six rooms and we took up like three of them. So that occupied most of them. And I think there was one other couple guest in one of the other rooms. But yeah, so, it, so the hotel basically wasn't crowded and we had a good time. So. Hopefully I can snap a little on the ferry and before I forget, support your girl. Support your girl, subscribe to my channel, click on that bell so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. And yeah, but today has been a pretty good day. We did a couple, we did some hina, as you can see on my chest. I got a butterfly, I love it. I'm just waiting for it to dry up. And I got some more butterflies on my hand. So that. So I'm just waiting for it to dry up and then yeah. What's up guys? I don't know if you can hear me, but we finally got to Stone Town. We stopped at a local restaurant to get some lunch. I'm not sure what its, what its name is. I think it's called Babuai. Babuai. They had pretty good local food and we're almost done here and then we're going to head to the store to get a couple of things and then we're going to head off the ferry. And then from there I'm going to get to Dar and then log out from y'all. But, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to subscribe. Click on that bell so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. And stay tuned guys, I love making content for you and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. What's up guys, so we just got to the ferry. We decided to say, Sam has ferries. We're basically trying to pull up the boat, the ferry, and then we're heading back to Dar So yeah. Disclaimer, the afternoon ferry is quite rough, so if you're prone to morning sickness, I suggest you take the morning one. For Quilly Zanzibar, it's been super rough. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you.